Hello, everyone, and welcome to That Cost What? And in today's episode, we are going to be looking at Pokemon cards and the crazy amount of money people are willing to spend on them. Let's get started with number 10, the Pokemon Masters Scroll card. Now, this card was released in 2010. The only way to get this card was through the Pokemon Daisuke Club, a Gym Mint 10 copy of the Japanese Master Scroll card recently sold on eBay for more than $30,000, specifically $30,100. It's a card that has never been available in packs, nor was it ever made available outside of Japan. That is why this card is worth so much money. Number nine is the University Magikarp, sold for $50,100. Released in 1998, the only way to obtain this card was in 1998, Shogun, which is a magazine company in Japan, held a competition for primary school kids. If they participated in the competition, sent back their, their test results, and they passed, they were then given an invitation to a conference. During this conference, they would then have Pokemon battles. And if you won your Pokemon battles, you then received this University Magikarp card. University Magikarp card doesn't come up for sale very often, but it does fetch a high price every time it does, anywhere between $17,000 to $50,000 for this Gym Mint 10 copy. It was sold on eBay in the end of October, and this card was handed out, again, as a prize for not only a completion of a test, but also multiple Pokemon battles won. Number eight on our list, is the Tropical Mega Battle, number two trainer card. It was released in 1999. The only way to get this card was to be of the top three finalists of seven tournaments, which the finals were held in Hawaii. And if you were one of those top three, you were then given this ba Tropical Battle card. Showing one of these cards is supposed to allow a player special treatment at official Pokemon events. Whether that's true or not, that doesn't affect the way that people view the rarity of this card. A PSA copy of this card sold for $60,000 last year, and that might only be a little bit of what it could have done if it was a Gym Mint 10. Number seven on our list is in the same category, a Tropical Mega Battle card called Tropical Wind. It sold for $65,100. You got it the same way, participating in these competitions and tournaments, and it sold recently on eBay for $65,100. What is more astonishing is that the Tropical Winds is by far the most common of the Tropical Battle Cards, but it was in fantastic condition, which allowed for its price to go even higher. There are only two Gym Mint 10 copies of the card in existence, with most of the cards coming in at around eight or nine. Number six on our list is the number one trainer card. This card sold for $90,000, almost peaking our $100,000 mark. Again, you were awarded this card if you were a regional champ at the 1999 Pokemon World Championship in Tokyo. This card is considered one of the rarest Pokemon cards in existence. A copy of the number one trainer card sold for auction, again, for $90,000 in July of this year. It's crazy that it didn't sell for more, being one of the rarest cards in existence, but there's not as much nostalgia for a card like this as there are for some of the later cards in this series. The card was awarded to each of the seven regional champions at the 1999 Pokemon World Championships in Tokyo with an additional card somehow making its way into circulation. It features artwork from a secret super battle promo set of the eight copies of the card to have been graded by PSA. Only six have achieved the perfect Gym Mint 10 rating. Number five. Now, before we continue this list, I would love for you to smash the like button, hit subscribe, and tap the notification bell because that costs nothing. 
and you can keep up with all the rest of our videos that we will be doing in the future. Number five is the Family Event Genghis Khan card. It sold for $150,100. This was released in 1998, and the only way to get it was to participate in the parent and child Pokemon tournament. The families battled other families, as you would expect, and racked up the most points, and were given the Kangaskhan family card. Just 11 Gym Mint 10 copies of this card are in circulation, with a combined value of over half a million dollars. In October of this year, a Gym Mint 10 sold at auction through eBay for a final bid of $150,100. So these next four Pokemon cards, the amount that they sold for is a little bit trickier to understand. So four, three, two, and one are all within the same realm of over $200,000. On my list, I have number four as a first edition Shadowless Charizard card, which there are only a little bit over a thousand graded in circulation, which were released in 1999, part of the first edition base set, sold for around $220,000. This card was graded Jim Mint 10, and according to the PSA website, there are only 53 Jim Mint 10 Charizard cards in circulation. The reason I'm not gonna to spend too much time on this card is it's going to show itself back up in the top two. Number three on our list is a fun one. The mascot of Pokemon is Pikachu. It has made its place at the number three most expensive Pokemon card ever sold. It was released in 1998. The Pikachu Illustrator card sold for $233,000. There were only 39 of these cards printed as a gift to winners of an illustration contest. Only 12 of these cards are known to be in good condition. The Pikachu Illustrator card held the record for the most expensive Pokemon card ever sold. They ranged anywhere from $74,000 in 2016, all the way up to what is now the $233,000 price point. It was sold back in July of this year. Number two, a Charizard first edition. Released in 1999, part of the first edition base set. This is widely considered the most beloved Pokemon card. Even now, when you are opening up new packs, you want to find the Charizard. And the reason a lot of these cards are selling for so much money nowadays is that over the past 30 years, every child has grown up with Pokemon in their life. The first generation of kids who grew up with Pokemon are now able to buy back pieces of their childhood. As stated by the celebrity who purchased this card. This card was sold for auction with a starting bid of $40,000. When the auction started dwindling down and people were jumping in with bids left and right, a celebrity that you may know named Logic came out victorious for purchasing this card for over $230,000. Pokemon TCG launched in 1999, and like I said, the first set of cards released contained this holographic Charizard, if you were lucky. A lot of you are probably thinking that you had this card when you were a kid. I myself also had this card as a kid. But like most collectibles, the reason they're worth so much money is because no one took care of them. The great thing about seeing this card go to Logic is how much it seems to have meant to him to be able to purchase this card. A quote from Logic himself, when I was a kid, I absolutely loved Pokemon, but couldn't afford the cards. I remember even trying to trade food stamps and now as an adult saving every penny, I can enjoy something that I loved so much as a child. That's amazing. I love seeing these cards go to people who truly care about the meaning behind them and that it's going to mean something to them and they'll cherish it forever. Number one, sold for an impressive $369,000. This is the number one on our list, 1999 number four Charizard Hollow first edition card. 
This Jim Mint 10 broke all the records for recently selling for nearly $400,000. The crazy thing is, is that this card belonged to a collector who bought the card in 2009 for $700, selling it just a few years later for over $350,000. Now what this says is that Pokemon is on a high. It is reaching its peak and what we are going to see is more and more records broken every month because more and more people are buying back their nostalgia, buying back their childhood and wanting a piece of this in their lives. Go digging in your basement, searching through your closet and trying to find your old Pokemon collection to hopefully sell them and make a quick fortune. Thank you for watching. That costs what? And we'll have more videos coming soon.